What's up, guys? It's your boy Justin here. Welcome to Dungeon Draws Podcast. Today, I'm reviewing uh, another uh, uh, martial arts film. It's been a while. Uh, I was going, I was going to review this for March Martial Arts Madness Month, but then like uh, I never got around to it. And apparently, it this movie is on the Leaving Soon page on Two Face. So I'm like, oh, I better re. I better watch this movie again, which I, I watched this movie around the time it came out, and I even watched the pseudo sequel slash prequel. I don't even know what the hell the, <laughs> that movie was. Uh, I think it was called Triad Wars, but it's like it was literally they got everybody from the almost everybody from from the first movie except for uh, Donnie Yen, and they just basically played the kind of the same characters but not really <laughs> but like Sam Hung's a good guy well, yeah so yeah this is uh, I'm reviewing SPL aka kill zone which is a 2005 action crime thriller film from Hong Kong it's directed by Wilson Yip who I think directed the um, it man movies which I still haven't seen and the movie stars Donnie Yen Simon Yam Sam Mo Kong uh, Cam Bo Hung Jing Woo, Jing Wu and Kai Chi Lu is Samo King Hu Hong Sam Sam Hong Samo Hong. Okay, I'm okay. So yeah, this movie is basically basically somebody was like, let's do Infernal Affairs, but if it was a bad a badass action film with Tony Yen, that's basically what the movie is, and the movie is famous for. An action scene between Donnie Yen and Jing Wu, where they basically have like a knife fight, where Jing Wu has like this little Japanese style looking uh, ni uh, knife, right? Uh, that that kind of looks like a Japanese short sword, and Donnie Yen is fighting him with a with an extendable baton, and it's like the <laughs> it's like the most famous fight scene from this movie, which. Uh, this is like the first film I've ever seen Jing Wu in, or Jason Wu as he used to be called. He, he doesn't go, he doesn't go by Jason Wu anymore. He goes by Jing Wu. And uh, yeah, this was like the first movie I ever saw him in, and it's like, holy, it's so f weird because like this is like he plays a villain in this movie, and he has a baby face, <laughs> which he plays Jack in the movie. So like the movie is about the basically this rivalry between this detective and this mob boss which the movie starts off in like I think three years uh, before the events of the movie which I think the movie what took place takes place in what like 2001 or something because <laughs> the movie starts off in like 2008 and then like it goes like three years later right which the movie starts off with uh, our main uh, one of our main characters Simon Yem uh, Simon Yem who is transporting the, uh, a witness and his, his family to the court to testify against this mob boss played by Sammo Hung which the movie even starts off with like you know like fe like um, like how like Infernal Affairs started off with like you know Buddhist talk here it starts off with like um, with like astrological signs like basically if you're if you if you have the ruinous star you're destined to destroy the lives of others, which, which is like <laughs> the movie. There's gonna be minor spoilers, but yeah, the movie's basically telling you, hey, this movie's not gonna have a nice ending, <laughs> right? So yeah, what happens is that yeah, while transporting the like the victim's family, they get hit by a car by Jing Wu, right? Who basically kills almost everybody except for uh, Sam Simon Yam's character. Who later finds out he has a tumor in his brain, uh, and the young, the young girl, the young daughter of the witness, right, who was asking his par her parents to take to take her to the beach, right, after the trial, which uh, Simon Yam's character takes her a lot, which you know he he adopts her for some reason, right? I guess <laughs> what she calls her the godfather in the movie right he calls her she ca sorry she calls him the go uh, godfather right which oh my god which the movie also takes place during father's day which is like i think next week or the week after so if you're 
If you're looking for a Father's Day movie, this 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 movie takes it uh, technically takes place on Father's Day, right? So three years later, uh, our our main character Simon Yam like establishes like the this like anti gang unit where he has one of his guys working under Sammo Hung, right? And he he. And they're trying to take down Simon uh, Sammo Hung's, uh, you know, gang. But before our Simon Yam's character has to retire, which he's being forced to retire, right, because of his um, tumor, right? Which they never say that, but you know, it's it's pretty clear that's what 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 it was. And and Don, that's where that we get introduced to Don, Donnie Yen, who's this badass cop who's going to take over the anti-gang unit right and he's famous for in the police and the police uh you know core for like for punching punching a suspect and making him like half like a half wit <laughs> right which it turns out like you know he kind of bra- like they kind of brag about that but like it turns out he's actually very guilty about doing that because you know you, there's a scene where he goes to visit the guy who's like a street cleaner and he takes him to like the arcade to play Street Fighter, right? Which this, the graphics were so good on the arcade machine. I'm like, is that... <laughs> I, was like, I was like, is that a Neo Geo game? And no, no, it turns out to be a Street Fighter. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. Man, oh my god. It was, the graphics look <laughs> so good. Oh my god. Yeah, and he... Yeah. So yeah, what the the main thing, the main driving for, f- plot of the movie is basically they they get our the anti gang unit on Father's Day gets gets super lucky and and they get like a deli- uh, a tape delivered to them of Sammo Hung beating beating the undercover cop that they put in in this like gang to near death and his henchmen shooting him right so they were going to use that to 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 put the guy to trial but it turns out uh there's no such thing as accessory to murder <laughs> so because like it was sam even though the video shows sam hung beating the fucking guy to death with a golf club right um because it was his henchman that did the did, did the final kill kill shot um it, apparently this means that Sammo Hung's character would have gone away scot free right which there's also a thing a plot in the movie where like Sammo Hung 3 years ago his wife uh went to miscarriage and now he and now he finally has a son who's like a 1 month old right fatherhood like they it's not a coincidence this movie takes place during Father's Day. Fatherhood is a big is a big <coughs> aspect of this movie, right? So yeah, what ha- what happens is that si- Simon Yam and his 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 uh and his uh police unit decides to delete delete the final like, you know, the final shot of the guy of the henchman killing the the cop and Basically, they go out to try to frame Simon Yam's character only for Simon, Ye- not Simon Yam, Sammo Hung's character only for Sammo Hung to retaliate by sending his his gang his gang to go out and gather evidence to deliver to the cops, and for the for the his henchman Jing Wu to go around killing <coughs> killing. Like uh, all all the cops involved in framing him, and Donnie Yen, who kind of wanted no part in the framing, is forced to you know go out and like event like go out and avenge his what were what, what were supposed to be his subordinates, right? <coughs> so yeah, um, on I, I should mention I watched this movie yesterday, <laughs> so it's not as fresh as it should be, but yeah, the movie. Has even though there's not a lot of action scenes, and there's some action scenes that d- didn't make sense, <laughs> like a scene where like the one character 
there during during uh, what was it called a raid on a drug operation you have a care one of the cop characters gets out of his car to shoot to shoot out shoot out one of the fleeing suspects in a car and he shoots him to death I'm like huh hey, would you be able to do that I'm not sure right but then there's like a subplot where they steal a shitload of the the underlings of the Sam, Simon Yem's character steal a bunch of money to <coughs> to leave for his his um, foster child because he's gonna be he's gonna die soon which they they pretty much said that in the movie all right um, but yeah like the there's good action scenes the, the script is not is I think it's good right. Um, the, 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 there's good acting, especially the one kid, like the one, um, there's like the, a dude who dies and like he goes cross-eyed. <laughs> it's like, holy fuck. Right. Uh, yeah, there's, there's serviceable a acting. The, uh, the action is fast paced and very, and like very good. There's very good choreography, especially with the Donnie Yen versus Sammo Hung fights and with the Jing, Jing Wu fights, which like Donnie Yen during the during the uh, Jing, uh, sorry, the Sam Hung fights, he's using like he's not just using ki flashy kicks and punches. He's actually he's also using some like, um, I, like I would say it's Brazilian jiu jitsu, but he's using like submission holds and shit, holds and shit, which was pretty cool. Like he would he would put his wrap his legs around uh, his the guy and then like roll around, and roll around with him. Right, and then the ending of this movie—it's like holy fuck! <laughs> it's very—it's scre The ending of this movie just screamed like, oh, like uh, art house. Like we have to have. Sorry, the I had some movies being ready to play, and they just started to play during my review. Like what the fuck? Fucking Tubi. Tubi, you're awesome, but like what the fuck? Um, but yeah, like the. Like the ending of this movie, it's like <laughs> it's like you definitely, um, it's it's definitely like the the I don't know like Hong Kong films just love to have the depressing depressing ending, right? But yeah, I, I would say if you're uh, Donnie Yen, I should mention that Donnie Yen's performance I think was probably the weakest, <laughs> other than the action parts, because he, he's like he has like. And there's and there's the fact that he dresses so cool in the movie. It's like what the fuck, <laughs> you know? That's like a cop shouldn't dress like that. <laughs> yeah, but overall, like I think the movie the movie's great in almost every level. Uh, except I can't remember if the music was good, but like cinematography, the action, the 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 plot of the movie is great. And if you're looking for a Father's Day movie to watch, this movie you know takes place on Father's Day. <laughs> Oh, it's probably this is probably my f my um, favorite Father's Day movie, other than the Tromaville film, uh, tr <laughs> the uh, Father's Day, which you know that movie. Oh my God, it's directed by I think it's directed by the the same guy who did Psycho Gorman, and it's pretty funny. There's a guy. If you haven't seen Father's Day, Father's Day is basically like a low budget horror action film where this guy is trying to kill. This serial killer called the Fuckman, who uh, kills and has has sex and has and kills like uh, f fathers, and the dude it's like it turns out to be a demon, and the demon looks like a live action Peter Griffin. <laughs> Peter Griffin, uh, Griffith, is it Griffin or Griffin? Uh, Peter Griffin from Family Guy, which I think they even made like a Family Guy joke in the movie. I could be wrong. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, my next review is going to be a horror film. It's going to be uh, probably Nightmare Detective, but that's also leaving so to be soon. So hopefully, I watch it before you know it goes down. All right, guys, be.